first with the KX Storm Team. And good morning, it is 5 a.m. Welcome to Good Day Dakota. We've had some rain and some storms overnight and into early this morning. That's all lifting to the north, but coming up, I'll tell you how this system here moving into Canada will actually impact us in the coming days. Temperatures this morning are in the 40s and 50s, 59 in Harvey, 46 in Dickinson, and we get downright windy today. More on that is coming up, but enjoy the 60s and 70s because we are also cooling down for parts of this week. I'll tell you when and how cool we could get a straight ahead on Good Day Dakota. It's gonna be a good day. So let's get it started. Live from KX News, this is Good Day Dakota. Good morning and welcome to Good Day Dakota. I'm Alicia Huck. And I'm Josh. Many thanks for waking up with us on this Monday morning. Today, the capital city will begin working on the water main replacement project along with street repairs around the city. Yeah, that's right. And happening this morning, the project will cause road closures and detours that may affect your commute throughout this week. Starting at 830, Washington Street from Interstate Avenue to Turnpike Avenue will be reduced by 10 feet to allow the southbound traffic to merge. And the repairs on Washington Street will be completed by Wednesday evening. And at 9 o'clock this morning, Riverwood Drive between Pleasant Avenue and Westwood Avenue will be closed for about 10 days to install a water main uh, along Riverwood Drive. And the business along Riverwood Drive will still be accessible. And Westwood traffic on Riverwood Drive will be detoured south on Pleasant Avenue to Easy Street. Then west on Easy Street to Westwood Avenue. Then again north back to Riverwood Ave Drive. Now eastbound traffic on Riverwood Drive will be detoured south on Westwood Drive to Easy Street. Then east on Easy Street to Pleasant Avenue and then north on Pleasant Avenue back to Riverwood Drive. Now the trail along Bismarck Expressway between Washington Street and Riverwood Drive will be closed. And so to get around the construction area, trail users should use the sidewalk there along Washington Street to Riverwood Drive and then proceed west to Pleasant Avenue. This is one of the driest years on record for North Dakota, creating a host of issues for producers. And we've gotten some rain over this past weekend. It's surely better than no rain, but to what extent will it make a difference? For this week's Ag and Energy Insight, we explore how North Dakota farmers and ranchers are living off of scattered storms. Burley County Extension agent Tyler Kralicek says North Dakota needs a deluge. Well, hopefully it's going to be wet and guys can't get in the field because it's too muddy. In other words, we need that much rain. If you look at uh, the data from the last, uh, you know, over 100, 100 years, it is definitely one of the worst, if not the worst. Um, you look at the annual re rainfall that we've had, um, you know, one of the figures was from last year, uh, we're deficient at least 10 inches of, of precip going into this year. So so, I mean, it is a definitely a huge concern in terms of where our drought outlook is. Um, you look across the state, and I mean, we're close to 90% that are considered drought. So, it is a, a very uh, dire situation. To meet insurance deadlines, farmers are getting their plants in the ground with enough time to grow. Washburn and farmer Joseph Sheldon grows spring wheat, corn, soybeans, and pinto beans. During all of this uh, this drought, we've we've kind of taken the attitude of, if ground conditions were adequate and moisture was adequate, would you be planting? And if the answer is yes, then we should be planting. Just like the rain has been spotty, crops are emerging inconsistently in fields. It's very uneven and spotty. A lot of the hilltops are bare. Um, a lot of the uh, below ground is growing. Um, where, where the water sat or we had some snow banks over winter. For cattle ranchers, having enough feed is the biggest issue. Yeah, the pastures are, are way behind and the hay crop is, is way behind. And, and we were coming off a short hay crop last year too, so uh, compounding those problems aren't, aren't helping the issues at all. Lang hasn't even taken cattle out to pasture this year. He's just been supplementing them with hay. The high demand is causing a major uptick in the cost of hay from $50 per bushel to up to $80 per bushel. The rain should help, but it won't be enough. We're going to end up dry lotting cows, trying to buy some hay for them uh, to save on our pasture. We're going to end up calling probably some some good cows that, that don't deserve to be called, but, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. you got to 
you got to try to, you know, manage the, manage the resource as best as you can too, without, uh, without overgrazing and, and overstressing your pastures. Between the extreme drought and the effects of COVID on tractor parts availability and rising costs of inputs, this year is shaping up to be one of the toughest years ever. Uh, visiting with some of the older farmers in the area, no one has seen anything like this. I think you'd have to go back to my great grandfather in the dirty thirties to experience something like we're experiencing here today. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, I'm Josh Many. And Kralichek tells us the one saving grace for North Dakota producers this year is the rising commodity prices. Let's try to find that silver lining, yeah, right? Absolutely. All right, and thanks for that report, Josh. And still to come this morning on Good Day Dakota, changes in the state's foster care system. Yeah, we'll tell you how the program improves employment outcomes for those who would otherwise age out of the system. Watching Good Day Dakota with Josh Many, Alicia Huck, and weather with meteorologist Amber Wheeler. Good Day Dakota on KX News, putting North Dakota first. At Farm Credit Services of North Dakota, we understand the challenges producers face today, and a hailstorm is one of a grower's biggest threats. Working together, we can customize a hail plan to fit your operation and your pocketbook. We also have over 60 licensed agents working with seven insurance companies to ensure you get the very best rates as well as outstanding customer service. Farm Credit Services of North Dakota. Crop insurance is what we do. With cordless DeWalt power equipment from Home of Economy, there's no limit to where you can go and what you can get done. Versatile, reliable, and always at the guaranteed lowest price. Local news focuses on the issues that impact you and your family, keeps our communities informed and safe. Local weather provides life-saving information. Local sports highlights our determination and grit. KX News, leading local for the communities we serve. This is the new Ergo Smart Base from Tempur-Pedic, and it responds to snoring automatically. So no more nudging your partner or opting for the couch. Because the Temper Ergo Smart Base is our first system that detects snoring and automatically adjusts to help reduce it. Your best sleep, all night, every night. And right now, save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Nicorette knows quitting smoking is freaking hard. You get advice like, try hypnosis, or quit cold turkey. Kidding me? Instead, start small with Nicorette, which can lead to something big. Start stopping with Nicorette. Ten years ago, sirens sounded, levees were breached, and communities were inundated with floodwaters. What's been done to ensure we don't relive the destructive nightmare? Join Becky Farr as she navigates the waters of flood protection, Wednesday and Thursday on KX News at 10. 701, they have some fun. Oh my goodness. Whether it's home, work, or play, life in the 701 is really all about how you live it. Watch Studio 701, weekday mornings at 9. The best way to wake up in the morning is with Good Day Dakota. Good morning, it's 508. Welcome to Good Day Dakota. We've got some warm temperatures this morning. We had some rain for many of us last night. And after a pretty cloudy weekend, we get a chance at some sun today. Take a look at what you're walking out the door to this morning. A lot of 40s and 50s, uh, so not a bad start to the day. The rain and the showers, that's all lifting to the north. And the winds are light for now, and, and they are a little breezy in some areas, but most of us aren't feeling the impacts that we will feel later with the wind. So here is the satellite and the radar. What's going to happen is that, especially if you're in the southern half of the state, you'll get a chance at some sun today. Those clouds are also going to lift north, but that system to the north of us, well, it's going to impact us in the coming days. And it begins today with the wind. The wind, believe it or not, will actually pick up from that same system uh, as it exits. We've got a wind advisory in the northwest and winds here could top out at over 50 miles per hour the wind gusts anyways so coming up i'm going to tell you more about the wind for
for today. I'll give you a wind forecast, and we'll talk more about more rain chances that we have ahead this week. Josh? All right. Thanks, Amber. We continue our COVID-19 North Dakota watch. The health department reporting 26 new cases of the virus, bringing the number of active cases in the state to 562. That's the lowest it's been since cases peaked mid-November last year at 10,435. No new deaths to report. A total of 1,507 people have died so far in North Dakota as a result of COVID-19. Looking at the rest of the numbers, 98 more people have recovered. 39 people are in the hospital. That's up five from yesterday. More than 266,000 people, about 45% of the state are fully vaccinated. Here's a look at the new cases by county. Cass, Ward, and Morton counties reported four new cases each. Grand Forks reported three, Burley two. The other nine counties reporting each had one. 39 counties had no new cases to report. For the latest information on the coronavirus, including resources, case numbers, and prevention, head to kxnet.com. Well, the Williams County Correctional Center is easing its way back to normalcy amid the pandemic. And as of last Thursday, the jail began allowing full-on in-person visitations between inmates and loved ones. The sheriff says that this form of communication was cut off more than a year ago now, forcing people to have to pay to communicate via a video platform. He says that although they are now accepting in-person visits, keeping people safe is still a priority. We're still doing quarantine periods for new inmates that are coming in for that 10 days just to make sure that we, we don't have a virus spread within the facility. Uh, so that's still going on, which makes operations a little bit challenging with having to quarantine new inmates as they come in. And he says that they also started allowing different in-person programs to resume, such as counseling and chapel. North Dakota is celebrating National Foster Care Month by helping those who've recently aged out of the system. Thanks to federal aid, the state's 18-plus continued care program now allows young adults to stay in foster care system until they turn 22. Previously, the program ended at 21 years old. Foster care administrator Dean Stern says the extra year of support from the program helps decrease rates of homelessness and mental illness and increases employment. It was noticed that foster youth, young adults aging out of foster care, tended to have some more um, higher difficulties of um, getting out there into the, you know, the quote unquote real world. In Minnesota, the program still ends on participants' 21st birthday. All right, well, it's good to see that kind of thing yeah. happening here. Still to come this morning on Good Day Dakota, a retired couple transformed their cottage into an Airbnb success. Yeah, we'll hear from the Bismarck couple giving guests a North Dakota farm experience. That's coming up at 523. And stay with us. Amber's going to tell us what this work week is going to bring us in the weather world that's coming up next. Introducing the Lowe's List, a selection of our most innovative picks, like the HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams Everlast Exterior Paint and Primer. Look for the full Lowe's List online or find the badge in our store. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Your heart is at the heart of everything you do. And if you have heart failure, there's Entresto. Entresto has proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or allosferin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. When it comes to getting the job done, having the right equipment makes all the difference. John Deere Utility Tractors from Gooseneck Implement will change the way you think about work. Whether it's digging out after a snowstorm, tilling your garden, or keeping your lawn cut, with a wide array of quick change attachments coupled with Gooseneck's trusted service and support, you won't know how you lived without one. Stop by Gooseneck Implement and try out a John Deere Utility Tractor today. Family owned and operated since 1971, Sundry Sand and Gravel is proud to provide the materials you need, whether it's washing, crushing, screening, or hauling. Plus, we have gorgeous decorative rock to create the perfect outdoor landscape. Call Sundry Sand and Gravel for an estimate today. Internet is an essential part of life today. So why is it so hard to figure out how much speed you actually need? 
At SRT, we provide fast, reliable internet packages to help you live your best internet lifestyle so you can enjoy seamless connections across every device in every room. Bump up your speed and improve your gaming stats. Upgrade to our new faster packages up to one gig. It doesn't have to be difficult to get Wi-Fi that works. Contact SRT and start loving your internet. Introducing the Lowe's List. Here are some of the innovative products chosen by our experts for 2021. We chose this exclusive Whirlpool 2-in-1 washer. Also, Samsung Connected Appliances. We love the HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams Everlast. And a top pick, this exclusive new line of Flex Power Tools. To see what else made the Lowe's List, visit Lowe's.com. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Local weather with the KX News Storm Team. And good morning, it's 5.15. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. We've got, as you can see here, this southerly flow continuing in our state today. This is gonna continue to give us uh, some warmer temperatures, or at least it's gonna help us with the warmer temperatures for today. Uh, lifting the rain and the storms that we saw last night up to the north, and we'll get a break from that rain for today. In fact, a lot of us get a chance at some sun. Temperatures this morning, 59 in Rugby, 53 in Garrison, 46 in Dickinson. And what's going to happen is as that system rises, rises uh, and continues to stay to the north of us, the pressure gradient is going to change, meaning it's going to give us, uh, you know, the ability to see some pretty strong wind, especially in the northwest where it's at here. Already seeing a wind that's increased a bit in Crosby. Right now, most of us are around, uh, say, about 15 to maybe 20 or so. Uh, but here's the wind forecast for today. So this afternoon, the winds are really going to be ramping up. I think they'll ramp up around lunchtime and stay pretty strong all day today. You can see in the northwest, 25 to almost 30 miles per hour sustained. The rest of us here, a pretty breezy day, 15 to 20. Now here are the wind gusts to go along with that. The strongest will be in the northwest where of course we have that wind advisory from noon until nine today. But I think more counties are just going to get added into this as the night progresses because as you can see here, uh, this low to the north of us is going to, as it moves, and you'll kind of see the motion of the atmosphere here, it's going to increase the winds through the day on Tuesday. So I anticipate another wind advisory probably on Tuesday has not been issued. Uh, it's a little too soon for that, but wind gusts could be topping out at 50, if not stronger, through the day on Tuesday. So a very windy day. So if your day is not as windy today, it will be for tomorrow. Temperatures back into the 60s and 70s today, some mid to upper 70s here in the south. And if you're wondering about rain chances, well, we do have them this week. So here's that low I was telling you about. And you can kind of see when these lines start getting kind of close together, that means that the winds are really increasing. That's a difference in pressure. But the wraparound moisture could certainly move through on Tuesday. And then another system, here's how we change our, our flow of our atmosphere. Another system will move in from the southwest. This certainly could bring some rain. If you're wondering in the, in the north here around the Minot area, if you could see rain, well, there is a chance this could lift to the north. Right now, a lot of indication is that it's going to stay south of you. But I am watching. There is a good chance it still could uh, move to the north. We are still several days out. Temperatures are back into the 60s for tomorrow. And we cool even more on Wednesday, actually. So we're cooling down for a few days here. Here's the Dickinson three-day forecast. Certainly the definition of a cooling trend with the rain chances likely on Wednesday. Uh, Williston also seeing a very windy forecast for you in the coming days with 50s by Wednesday. And a quick look at your Minot seven-day forecast. Well, it shows the cool down 50s before we rebound to more seasonable temperatures over the weekend. We'll have a warmer weekend and we'll have a better chance at some sunshine this weekend. It seemed like we sure stayed very overcast over this last weekend. Here's your Bismarck forecast, 50s for the middle of this week, but we do rebound just in time for, um, if my uh, my calendar and my brain is correct, Memorial Day weekend, mm -hmm. right? Yes, So we're heading into it. the long weekend for a lot of folks. They want some warmth and some sun. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, oh, I'm just thinking, uh, you know, we gotta get that wind in there, which we didn't want after the rain, yeah. but I'm thinking the kids got, they have field day tomorrow. My husband, they're gonna be mm. outside all day tomorrow playing sports. Leaning into the wind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Speaking of wind, the kite festival near Garrison Yeah, that's is this, this weekend. weekend. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, well, hopefully I it guess does you, get a better. You want wind. Yeah, yeah, a little. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, that's little right. Bit. You gotta have just the right amount, right? Um, all right, thanks, Amber. When we return on Good Day Dakota, a national organization for women who love the outdoors is empowering them. Yeah, and we'll hear from the ambassador of the North Dakota chapter on how the group is preserving the outdoors. That story is straight ahead.
See how our ag lending and crop insurance services can work for you. Farm Credit Services of North Dakota. Pandemic fatigue. We're all suffering from it and ready to move on. Ready to gather, celebrate, and share moments with others. Now, thanks to safe and effective vaccines, you can get back to doing the things you love with the people you love, your family and friends. Get your vaccine and get back to living. Let's get back together. At Minot Automotive Center, vehicles are selling quick and we're here to help. Our team is here to guide you along the way with friendly and fast service. Whether you're just beginning your process or ready to purchase, don't miss out on a 2021 Ram 1500 Warlock. Lease as low as $357 per month with $357 down. Your next vehicle is only a click or call away. These deals won't last long during the Memorial Day sales event at Minot Automotive Center. I'm Norm. I'm Saz. And we live in Columbia, Missouri. We do consulting, but we also write. We take care of ourselves constantly. It's important. We walk three to five times a week, a couple miles at a time. We've both been taking Prevagen for a little more than 11 years now. After about 30 days of taking it, we noticed a clarity that we didn't notice before. It's still helping me. I still notice a difference. Prevagen, healthier brain, better life. Menards has the outdoor power equipment to get your home and yard ready for summer. Keep your yard looking sharp with the Works 10-inch 20-volt trimmer and edger. Known for innovative designs and affordable prices, Works provides the cleaning power you need. Turn to the 1900 PSI electric pressure washer for the toughest dirt, dust, and grime. All Works outdoor power equipment is 11% off. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. People today, they could spend half their lives over 50. That's a lot of living. So it helps to have a wise friend and fierce defender in your corner. A friend like AARP. So your health lives longer. This is just slow mo karate. Just slow mo karate. Your money lives longer. Hey, I just bought that. Huh, I just sold that. And your happiness lives longer. That's why the younger you are, the more you need AARP. Join today. Good Day Dakota continues on KX News. Well, it's 522. Welcome back. Well, Hiker Babes, it's a national organization for women who, they, who love participating in outdoor activities. And new this morning, we met, we met with the ambassador for the North Dakota chapter who says that they welcome those from all walks of life and their goal is to preserve the outdoors so that they can enjoy it. Sarah Jessen, she's an ambassador for the North Dakota chapter of Hiker Babes, and she moved to Stanley, North Dakota from Montana and has always loved the outdoors, hiking and camping. So when she found the Hiker Babes North Dakota Facebook group, she said she knew she had found her people. I initially said the reason I want to join the Hiker Babes is because there's nothing to hike around here and I need to go find it because there's got to be some adventure somewhere here in North Dakota. And the group has challenges like the 12 hikes in 12 months. They also have hike, uh, group hikes to find hidden treasures in our state like ice caves south of Watford City or the only registered waterfall in North Dakota. And it was surprising and beautiful and bigger than I thought it was going to be and really noisy and it was like a legit waterfall. I was pretty excited. Jessen says that Hiker Babes is all about empowering women of all shapes and sizes to get out there and get moving. And most of their hikes are day hikes and sometimes they even do co-ed gatherings. So for more information about Hiker Babes and their group, you can click on the story on our website at kxnet.com. The latest addition to Apple Creek Farm in southeast Bismarck is getting a lot of attention. The Apple Creek Cottage sits on the 40-acre farm and is listed on Airbnb. Guests get to experience authentic North Dakota farm life with free roam chickens, alpacas, and some time away from the big city. One woman says staying on the farm was a bonding experience. It did bring our family closer together because we, we didn't have other distractions. This is definitely a unique experience. Um, I have not been invited to other farms around, around Bismarck to hang out with the animals, and so this was really special. 
The farm is not open for public events, but anyone who wants to stay at the cottage can book a reservation through Airbnb. Uh, you know, there's a movie about these city boys. They go, <laughs> what city is slickers? C city slickers? I don't know. Like Maybe early it's early 90s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, city slickers. Maybe something along those lines. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, Amber, let's take a look at the weather here. See what it's like to take our pups out this morning. Maybe a little muddy for some. Yeah, yeah it was definitely muddy for some of us this weekend. And mm -hmm. you might have some puddles again this morning. I know I do in my neighborhood uh, that your four-legged best friends might have to walk through. Take a look at the smiling photo uh, that I have this morning for my dog walking forecast. Say hello to Jack. And Jack is from Christy. Good morning to you both. We're going to enjoy the sun today. At least most of us anyways will get some good sun. And a lot of our highs are going to be back into the 70s this afternoon. We are going to be pretty warm and we're going to be windy. The winds have already ramped up a bit in the northwest, uh, but many of us are falling between that 10 and 20 mile per hour range this morning. But as we head through the day today, it is going to get downright windy, especially if you're in the northwest. If, you, if you're under one of these shaded counties, uh, then you could see wind gusts of around 50 miles per hour. That is going to include Stanley, uh, the Bowbells area, into Crosby, Williston, uh, into uh, to Watford City there. You're going to be pretty windy, and we're going to keep the winds going for Tuesday as well. I'll have more of a wind forecast for you coming up, and we'll talk more about rain chances this week. That's straight ahead. All right. Thanks, Amber. Pampers has a new product for parents and babies, and a chicken wing shortage, shortage is gripping America. Jane King is in New York with those stories and more in today's Ag and Energy Report. Soaring demand for chicken has resulted in wing shortages across America. According to the country's third largest poultry producer, Sanderson Farms says it does not have enough supply to keep up with demand, despite recently picking up 40 million pounds per year. Suppliers are struggling to hire people to process chicken. While Americans are returning to restaurants, bars, and other dining places as COVID restrictions come down, but it's also adding a new strain in the food supply chains. Distributors are facing difficulty in finding workers and surgery transportation costs. Well, Pampers has launched an eco-friendly hybrid diaper. The latest Pampers diaper aims to bring together the benefits of both cloth and disposable diapers. Now, using 25% less disposable material, Pampers Pure Protection Hybrid Diapers use a reusable cloth diaper, and then a disposable insert made with a plant-based liner. And Missouri is angling to be the Napa Valley of the Midwest. Fox Business reports they plan to incorporate a five-star hotel and spa, a 12-hole world champion golf course, and also a restaurant on the properties near St. Louis. There's steamboat tours and day cruises as well. It's one of the many areas in the Midwest tapping into the state's rich wine culture. From New York, I'm Jane King with your Ag and Energy Report. In this ad, pay attention to the actor's gums. Gums? We don't think about them. But like skin, over time, gums can get damaged. New Colgate Gum Renewal. Reverses early gum damage for a beautiful, revitalized smile. Reynolds Wrap makes this whole cooking and cleanup thing so easy. Speeds up this, so I can get to them. Easy Prep Cook and Clean with Reynolds Wrap. Your local KX weather forecast is brought to you by RTC, offering internet, voice, and video services. Dakota Agronomy Partners offers a wide range of seed treatment options to help farmers keep their fields free of disease and insects. Contact your local sales rep to discuss seed treatment options or our crop scouting program today. Dakota Agronomy Partners, professional knowledge, positive results. If you missed KX Conversation at 6, you missed the discussion on issues that affect us all. Dr. Fon, what does this new information tell us about the spread of the coronavirus? You missed the conversation that leads to solutions. If not gun regulation, what should be be done by Congress to stop these mass murders from happening. Be part of the conversation. You tell us that scammers are telling a fairly convincing story over the phone these days, so can you walk us through it? KX Conversation, weeknights at 6 on KX News. Since 1901, the McGee Law Firm has been there for our clients during critical times, providing advice, advocacy, and action. We're dedicated to your satisfaction. The McGee Law Firm, the right lawyers, right now. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we built the truck of the future for everyone. Ford F-150. 
with best-in-class available towing and payload, and an available interior work surface. It's built to work hard and smart, because the truck of the future isn't built for a few, it's built for America. Ford F-150, drive one today. Now, with special spring bonus pricing, get 4,800 in total savings on a 2021 F-150. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. I've made progress with my mental health. So when I started having unintentional body movements called tardive dyskinesia, I ignored them. But when the movements in my hands and feet started throwing me off at work, I finally had to say, it's not okay. It was time to talk to my doctor about Austedo. She said that Austedo helps reduce TD movements in adults, while I continue with most of my mental health medications. Austedo can cause depression, suicidal thoughts, or actions in patients with Huntington's disease. Pay close attention to and call your doctor if you become depressed, have sudden changes in mood, behaviors, feelings, or have suicidal thoughts. Common side effects include inflammation of the nose and throat, insomnia, and sleepiness. Don't take Ostetto if you have liver problems, are taking Respirin, Tetrabenazine, or Valbenazine. Ostetto may cause a regular or fast heartbeat, restlessness, movements mimicking Parkinson's disease, fever, stiff muscles, problems thinking, and sweating. Talk to your doctor about Ostetto. It's time to treat TD. TD is not okay. Visit askforostetto.com. Our local service providers do so much for us. They save lives, serve, and protect. They do this service out of duty and commitment to the community. That's why KX News wants to give back. Each month, KX News will deliver breakfast or lunch to a local public service team. And that evening, we'll introduce you to those heroes who serve and protect your community every day. KX Gives Back, KX News' commitment to putting North Dakota first. Sponsored by McDonald's. Forecast first with the KX Storm Team. And good morning, it's 531. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. We've got that rain lifting to the north here, and while we are getting rid of the rain today, this system here is just going to ramp up our winds. I'll tell you how coming up, but right now, 50 degrees in Watford City, 57 in Bismarck, and 58 in Minot. Plan your day around windy conditions and highs in the 60s and 70s. More on the wind and who's under a wind advisory today. That's straight ahead on Good Day Dakota. Now more Good Day Dakota on KX News. It's 531. Welcome back. Well, this is one of North Dakota's driest years on record, creating a host of issues for producers. We've gotten some rain over this past weekend. It's surely better than no rain, but to what extent will it make a difference? For this week's Ag and Energy Insight, we explore how North Dakota farmers and ranchers are living off of scattered storms. Burley County Extension agent Tyler Kralicek says North Dakota needs a deluge. Well, hopefully it's going to be wet and guys can't get in the field because it's too muddy. In other words, we need that much rain. If you look at uh, the data from the last, uh, you know, over 100, 100 years, it is definitely one of the worst, if not the worst. Um, you look at the annual re rainfall that we've had, um, you know, one of the figures was from last year, uh, we're deficient at least 10 inches of, of precip going into this year. So, I mean, it is a definitely a huge concern in terms of where our drought outlook is. Um, you look across the state, and I mean, we're close to 90% that are considered drought. So uh, it is a, a very uh, dire situation. To meet insurance deadlines, farmers are getting their plants in the ground with enough time to grow. Washburn farmer Joseph Sheldon grows spring wheat, corn, soybeans, and pinto beans. During all of this uh, this drought, we've we've kind of taken the attitude of, if ground conditions were adequate and moisture was adequate, would you be planting? And if the answer is yes, then we should be planting. Just like the rain has been spotty, crops are emerging inconsistently in fields. It's very uneven and spotty. A lot of the hilltops are bare. Um, a lot of the uh, below ground is growing. Um, where, where the water sat or we had some snow banks over winter. For cattle ranchers, having enough feed is the biggest issue. Yeah, the pastures are, are way behind and the hay crop is, is way behind. And, and we were coming off a short hay crop last year too, so uh, compounding those problems aren't, aren't helping the issues at all. Lang hasn't even taken cattle out to pasture this year. He's just been supplementing them with hay. The high demand is causing a major uptick in the cost of hay from $50 per bushel to up to $80 per bushel. The rain should help, but it won't be enough. We're going to end up dry lining some cows, trying to buy some hay for them uh, to save on our pasture. We're going to end up calling 
probably some some good cows that that don't deserve to be called but uh you know that's the way it goes you gotta you gotta try to you know manage the manage the resource as best as you can too without uh, without overgrazing and, and overstressing your pastures between the extreme drought and the effects of covid on tractor parts availability and rising costs of inputs this year is shaping up to be one of the toughest years ever uh, visiting with some of the older farmers in the area, no one has seen anything like this. I think you'd have to go back to my great-grandfather in the dirty 30s to experience something like we're experiencing here today. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, I'm Josh Minnie. Kralichik tells KX that one saving grace for North Dakota producers this year is rising commodity prices. In other news now, today the city, the capital city, will begin working on the water main replacement project along with city repairs and street repairs all around the city rather and happening this morning. The project will cause road closures and detours that may just affect your commute throughout the week. Starting at 8.30 this morning, Washington Street from Interstate Avenue to Turnpike Avenue will be reduced by 10 feet just to allow the southbound traffic to merge. The repairs on Washington Street will be completed by Wednesday evening. And at 9 o'clock this morning, Riverwood Drive will between Pleasant Avenue and Westwood Avenue will be closed for about 10 days to install a water main along Riverwood Drive and the businesses along Riverwood Drive will still be accessible and the construction will cause some significant detours and we have all of those detours our detours listed for you on our website at kxnet.com. Yeah, I've been seeing the crews out uh, mm. lifting dirt, yep. all kinds of stuff, but I guess it's the time they have to do it. Call it the construction season. Yeah. Keep it with us here on Good Day Dakota still to come. Visitation restrictions are loosening in one county's jail as the state's COVID numbers go down. And we will hear from the sheriff all about the programs that are resuming now. That story is coming up after the break. Get all your protection under one roof with American Family Insurance Agent Emily Grossman in Minot and Garrison. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because every new day starts the night before. Hi, everyone. Ooh. And a quality night's sleep is scientifically proven to help boost performance. The new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed is temperature balancing, and it helps keep you asleep by sensing your movement and automatically adjusts to keep you both effortlessly comfortable. Proven quality sleep is life-changing sleep, only from Sleep Number. At Home of Economy, you'll find top-selling brands like Carhartt, known for comfort, durability, and a style and fit for everyone. Whether you need workwear, casual wear, or anywhere in between, find your Carhartts at the guaranteed lowest price, only at Home of Economy. Country music superstar Gary Allen is coming to Sky Dancer Casino and Resort on July 10th. Hear Gary perform his biggest hits during a special outdoor concert. Doors open at 7 p.m. and concert starts at 9. Admission is just $55 and tickets for the canceled 2020 concert will be honored for this show as well. Don't miss Gary Allen live at Sky Dancer Casino and Resort on July 10th. Tickets on sale now. Connecting on a personal level with each resident is important. Establishing that relationship and being genuine about it, that's important to be able to move forward. Being able to have that acceptance and the confidence to go back into the community and do well. Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. That's 538. Welcome back. Coronavirus cases are now at their lowest in nearly a year and largely due, the, due to the effectiveness of the vaccines. And health officials say that a new concern about heart inflammation in kids who have received the shot, something they say is extremely rare and very treatable, should not discourage anyone from getting inoculated. And KX News correspondent Laura Podesta has more. The seven-day average for new coronavirus cases in the U.S. is less than 30,000, about a tenth of what it was at the January peak. <laughs> These Massachusetts high schoolers can thank the vaccine for their senior prom. I believe it was 71% of our seniors as of Monday uh, have been vaccinated. In nine states, at least 70% of adults are partially vaccinated, but in 10 others, mostly in the South, 
less than half have gotten one dose. The CDC is investigating some rare cases of heart inflammation among vaccinated teens and young adults. These are complications that were not totally unexpected, but are very, very rare and manageable. The health agency has not found more cases than expected in the general population and still encourages everyone 12 and older to get vaccinated. Laura Podesta, CBS News. And the CDC says that the complications were more common in males than in females and showed up about four days after the second dose of the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. We continue our COVID-19 North Dakota watch. The health department reports 26 new cases of the virus, bringing the number of active cases in the state to 562. That's the lowest it's been since cases peaked mid-November last year at 10,435. No new deaths to report. A total of 1,507 people have died so far in North Dakota as a result of COVID-19. Looking at the rest of the numbers, 98 more people have recovered. 39 people are in the hospital. That's up five from yesterday. More than 266,000 people, or about 45% of the state's population, has been fully vaccinated. Here's a look at the new cases by county. Cass, Ward, and Morton counties reported four new cases each. Grand Forks reported three. Burley, two, and the other nine counties reporting each had one. 39 counties had no new cases to report. For the latest information on the coronavirus, including resources, case numbers, and prevention, head to kxnet.com. Well, the Williams County Correctional Center is easing its way back to normalcy now amid the pandemic. And as of last Thursday, the jail, the jail began to allow full on-site in-person visitations between inmates and loved ones. The sheriff says that this form of communication was cut off for more, uh, more than a year ago, rather, forcing people to have to pay to communicate via a video platform. And they say that although they are now accepting in-person visits, keeping people safe is still a priority. We're still doing quarantine periods for new inmates that are coming in for that 10 days just to make sure that we, we don't have a virus spread within the facility. Uh, so that's still going on, which makes operations a little bit challenging with having to quarantine new inmates as they come in. And he says that they have also started to allow different in-person programs to resume, like their counseling and chapel services. Yeah, certainly things, uh, we're in a transition we period. We really are, we yeah. really truly are, yeah. Speaking of weather, Amber, are we going to see any transitions from this fog and rain yeah. that we've seen all weekend? Yeah, we're going to see some sunshine, already seeing some clear skies in mm -hmm. Dickinson this morning. Here's nice. our KX cam there. We'll have some beautiful sunshine to enjoy in Dickinson. And between yesterday and this morning, Dickinson saw just under an inch and a half of moisture. So some good moisture fell here. 46 degrees right now with a southwest breeze at 15. I can tell you right now these winds are increasing today for Will or for Dickinson. rather. Over the next week, we've got a cool down for Wednesday and Thursday. We've got rain chances in here with this cool down. We'll head into the Memorial Day weekend, rebounding to more seasonable temperatures. That's for Dickinson. Here is your KX cam and current condition outlook here for Williston, where we saw about three quarters of an inch in the last couple of days here. 50 degrees, a southwest breeze at nine. This area will be one of the windiest in the state. We've got a wind advisory here. It goes into effect at noon. Your wind gust in Williston could top out at 50 miles per hour. So get ready for a windy day in Williston. And we are cooling down this week with some rain chances. Coming up, I'll tell you more about these rain chances and we'll talk about that wind you'll wanna prepare for, not just today, but quite possibly into tomorrow as well. All right, hang on to your hats. Thank you, Amber. And now let's take a look at our national day calendar. Today we celebrate your best friend and your worst enemy, which may be found in the same person. Welcome to May 24th on the national day calendar. A guy who teases you one minute and then acts like your best friend is what you might call a jerk, unless they're related to you, in which case they're called brothers. Today we celebrate the guys who made a career out of tormenting you. Maybe they tore up your comic book collections, cut off your pigtails, or put live critters in your bed. They also picked you up after you crashed your bike and taught you how to throw a baseball. If you think about it long enough, you would probably count yourself lucky to have these guys in your corner. On Brother's Day, celebrate the things you're grateful for and have a good laugh about all the rest. I'm Marlo Anderson with the National Day Calendar. See you again tomorrow as we celebrate every day.
And for a list of all the national days you can celebrate today, head on over to our website at kxnet.com. All right, there's still plenty of news and weather ahead on Good Day Dakota, including how a community came together to help celebrate one little girl's birthday when things didn't go as planned. We'll have that story coming up at 5.53. And Amber will be back to tell us about some uh, pretty hellacious wind on the way and see how our work week is shaping up. That's coming up in our full weather forecast. Your day is important, so plan it right by getting your weather here first. Forecast First has accurate forecasting for what's happening now and what's happening next. Into northeastern Montana, that will be bringing some snow with it. And Get your weather straight to the point with current conditions, hour by hour, and weather alerts. Another night, another wind chill advisory. We have it in place for our east. Watch Forecast First every night on KX News at 10. Sponsored by Northwest Tire. Northwest Tire keeps you rolling down the road. I order my groceries online now. Shingles doesn't care. I keep my social distance. Shingles doesn't care. I stay within my family bubble. Shingles doesn't care. Because if you've had chicken pox, you're already carrying the virus that causes shingles. In fact, about one in three people will develop shingles, and the risk only increases as you age. So what can protect you against shingles? Shingrix protects. Now you can protect yourself from shingles with a vaccine proven to be over 90% effective. Shingrix is a vaccine used to prevent shingles in adults 50 years and older. Shingrix does not protect everyone and is not for those with severe allergic reactions to its ingredients or to a previous dose. An increased risk of Guillain-Barre syndrome was observed after vaccination with Shingrix. The most common side effects are pain, redness and swelling at the injection site, muscle pain, tiredness, headache, shivering, fever, and upset stomach. Talk to your pharmacist or doctor about protecting yourself with Shingrix. Shingles doesn't care, but we do. Local weather with the KX News Storm Team. And good morning, it's 546. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. We've got this southerly flow here continuing for today and this uh, low to the northwest of us. Well, that's going to continue impacting us in the coming days here, mainly with wind, not as much as rain, uh, or with rain rather. So this rain is pushed to the north. We'll more than likely stay dry for today. And we're ramping the winds up. This morning, uh, we've got 46 in Dickinson, 58 in Minot, and 57 in Bismarck. Winds are mostly out of the southwest, uh, anywhere from about about 10 to 15 to a few areas around 20 miles per hour. Crosby already increasing. I can tell you that the winds are really increasing for most of us, especially in the northwest into the afternoon. So here's your wind forecast. As you can see, southwesterly winds around 15 to 25 up to around 30 in the northwest. That's where our strongest winds are going to be today. Uh, a front's going to push through and this is going to ramp up those winds. This is associated with that low to the north of us. So it's ramping our winds up and they'll stay strong even into the afternoon. Now they'll briefly die down tonight only to pick back up again as that low does push uh, to the east. Again, staying north of us, but really whipping up the winds in the atmosphere. Some of our wind gusts over 50 miles per hour tomorrow. So if you're not as windy today, you will be tomorrow. No one's escaping the wind here in the coming days. Highs are back into the, uh, the 60s and 70s. We're going to see mostly 70s on the map for today. And we get a good shot at some sunshine as well. You can see here this low to the north of us uh, really taking the cloud cover with it. But the, uh, the kind of trailing cold front is what's going to kind of help to bring uh, not just the wind, but also cooler temperatures in the coming days. Now, some wraparound moisture could give us a few showers on Tuesday. And what we'll see here is just an increase in rain chances from another low moving in on Wednesday. Now, right now, it looks like it mostly wants to stay in the southern half of the state. But there is a chance, and there are some models that have this lifting to the north. Something else that's really interesting about the system is that as it moves through on Wednesday night into early Thursday morning and the temperatures cool, we could see this mix with a little bit of a rain snow.
on Thursday morning. That's something we'll have to watch. Highs tomorrow, a little cooler, a lot of 60s for daytime highs. And I can tell you on Wednesday, we're going to see widespread 50s. So that's one of our cool days. We're going to keep the 50s into Thursday as well. Dickinson, here's your forecast over the next three days. Certainly cooling it down. We're going to see some 30s for overnight lows as well this week. So we're going to watch for the frost potential. Here's the forecast for Williston, also around 60 on Tuesday to the mid 50s by Wednesday and carrying the uh, cool forecast into Thursday. Here's your Minot seven day forecast. The average high today is 72. We'll be closer to that for the weekend, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, and then, of course, over the next few days here, we are watching uh, for the cooler overnight lows, not just the cool daytime highs, but the cooler overnight lows. Here's your Bismarck seven day forecast looking to see rain. It's a little more likely in the southern half of the state uh, for Wednesday, especially Wednesday night into Thursday. And then once we get into the weekend, I'm watching another round of rain. Right now, it looks like it wants to come through maybe late Friday into early Saturday. Uh, but there is the possibility that the timing could fall through the day on Saturday. So we'll have to watch. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, we, anything is good at this point right now. Yeah, exactly. we still need it. You know, we got yeah. some good rain for some parts of the state. I've got some rain reports or rain totals to give you here in a few minutes, but we still could use some more. All, All right. right, we look forward to it. Thank you, Amber. Plenty of stories ahead on Good Day Dakota, including an unforgettable surprise for one little girl's birthday party. Yeah, and we'll introduce you to the birthday girl and the community that stepped up to make it all happen. That story is straight ahead. Before you turn in, turn on KX News at 9 on the Dakota CW. Let's go. Woo! What do you do when you're not, like, racing everybody? Trade money. Do you know what the NASDAQ is? That's exactly what it is. You better go ahead and do the NASDAQ. Can I tell you something? My mom had two babies at one time. Two babies at one time? Yes. What's that called? Triplets. Tiffany Haddish hosts a new Kids Say the Darndest Things, Wednesday at 8, 7 central, or stream anytime on CBS. We can't all be morning people, but we can all eat McDonald's for breakfast. Get a $1 premium roast coffee and mix and match on our two for $4 breakfast menu. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This is Jeff, the concrete guy with Max Construction. Need a driveway or a new garage floor? Call Max Construction. Need concrete repaired or replaced? Call Max Construction. We provide long-term quality concrete solutions for a reasonable price. Over 20 years locally owned and operated, Max Construction specializes in garage floors, driveways, sidewalks, and patios. No job is too small. So contact me, Jeff, the concrete guy, for a free estimate and get your project done right. We can't all be morning people. But we can all eat McDonald's for breakfast. Get a $1 premium roast coffee and mix and match on our two for $4 breakfast menu. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Thank you for starting your day with Good Day Dakota. That's well, 5.52. Welcome back. Let's take a look at our top health stories now. Patients with irritable bowel syndrome reported fewer symptom symptoms during COVID-19 lockdowns, which is the opposite of what doctors had expected. A study in Argentina found a sharp drop in severe IBS, suggest suggesting staying at home relieved outside stress and gave patients more control over their diets. And new research finds that people who drink lots of milk have lower levels of both good and bad cholesterol. The study in the International Journal of Obesity also shows regular milk drinkers have slightly more body fat, but a lower risk of coronary heart disease. And children, young children rather, who spend more time looking at screens and spend time reading books. A study in the journal Pediatrics tracked thousands of Canadian families, and it found that two-year-olds who use electronic devices spend less time reading by age three, and that in turn leads to greater screen use by the time they are five. A Williston girl's 10th birthday will be one to remember after receiving what may have been the surprise of a lifetime. Malik Wilson has the story. What were your emotions, you know, that first day when she came out? You know, what were all of your emotions? What were you thinking? <laughs> a first time parent, you know, I think probably a little bit of everything. Nervous, excited, scared. On May 23rd, 2011, Sarah Wheeler gave birth to her one and only, Amanda. She was healthy. She was still four weeks early, but she was healthy. All kinds of emotions. She's an amazing blessing. A blessing she says she'd do anything for. We would go 
the ends of the earth for her. That means keeping up with the traditions of birthdays and planning a party for her 10th birthday this year was no different. We decided well, we're going to do the bowling alley thing. That's what she wanted to do. So we got a big cake, uh, party favors. And they rallied the troops. We uh, ended up inviting most of her classmates. And a few neighborhood Yeah, and a few neighborhood friends. I think we got close to 18 cards. But on May 16th, the day of Amanda's party, only one person showed. So we got up in there, got set up, got going, got bowling. Within 20 minutes, we still only had the one child. Devastated is the word Sarah says described hers and Amanda's emotions. So I just out of frustration posted it on social media. Her post on Facebook explained the situation and simply asked if anyone would be willing to come celebrate with Amanda. The response she received left her speechless. We were inundated. Nearly 50 people from in and around the Williston community Thank came you. to share the day with Amanda. Yay! Making her feel special. It was just a great incline on my mental health because that that was just amazing. The community coming together, it was just the most awesome and wonderful thing. It's a memory neither of them will ever forget. You felt loved, huh? Yes, I did. I don't think we can stop this birthday ever. Yeah. I mean, how do you? <laughs> In Williston, reporting for KX News, Malik Wilson. Sarah says the whole family is extremely grateful and want to give a huge thank you to, again to everyone who was in attendance. So it's not the first time I've heard a story Damn. like that and it just, uh, you know, I'm so grateful for people rallying around her like that and happy birthday. Yeah, absolutely. That was, that was great. Yes. Well, a diamond ring set a world auction record price and it's our best video of the day. Now the Sakura diamond is 15, oh geez, 15.81 carat vivid purple pink diamond. The rare diamond ring set a world auction record price fetching more than $29.2 million on Sunday. Bidding opened at $22 million and it climbed to the final hammer price of $29.2 million and it was bought by a telephone bidder. Well, mm. I, I wonder if that's what, what uh, you know, Aaron was on the phone for a long time <laughs> yesterday. Look at that. Uh, thing. Yeah. What I, do you I, think? What, I, I can't really tell the difference what makes a good diamond or a bad diamond, but uh, in your opinion. The three C's, your cut, clarity, and, ah. and uh, oh. Amber, help me. Oh cut, man, I'm the last cut, person to ask about cut diamonds. Clarity and all, all I know is that you can't do dishes with that thing on, so I can't. <laughs> I can't wear it. <laughs> well, but we'll see. I'll, I'll show you. Are diamonds supposed to be super strong, though? Like, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Like if you, supposedly, if you can idea. cut glass with it or something like that. But I'll show you guys. You know, when when Aaron gives it to me, because <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he was the telephone bidder. Yeah, just yeah. make sure you I'm get some insurance on that yeah, thing. Yeah. Oh, I will. Yeah. I will. How's the weather? They're looking amber uh, well we've got a dry forecast today uh, you know we had some rain over the weekend take a look at the wind advisory that we have today though so a few areas that will see some wind gusts around 50 miles per hour that will be Powers Lake Stanley Epping Crosby into Williston uh, Keene Mandaree Halliday uh, Watford City Kildare you're gonna have some the, some of the strongest wind gusts now we're all gonna feel the winds today but the gusts there could be about 50 60s and 70s today here's a look at your Minot 72 hour forecast we saw about a quarter of an inch of rain this morning. That was nice, but today it's going to get kind of windy. A slight chance for showers on Tuesday and Wednesday, and here's the Bismarck forecast. Cooling down to the 50s. We're all mostly cooling down to the 50s on Wednesday, and rain chances are really ramping up for a lot of us. Here is a look at your seven-day temperature trends. These are trends for all of us. We are going to eventually warm for the Memorial Day weekend, but of course, coming up in the next hour of Good Day Dakota, I'll give you more on the rain chances and the wind. Sounds good, and the drought continues, and we'll hear from local farmers how they are planning to navigate the lack of moisture. Yeah, we'll have that story and more in the second hour of Good Day Dakota. Stick with us. Hey, my not, it's Big D and Bubba, and this is where all the magic happens. 1029 WGO. Yeah, catch us Monday through Saturday with everything you want in the morning show. We've got your music, we got your celebrity interviews, we got your local weather and news, and we got you. And Chris Kelly and Jeff Bliss later in the day. 90s at noon, the five o'clock mashup, and your favorite country songs, seven in a row. Catch us tomorrow morning right here, 1029 WGO. Tomorrow morning, Big D and Bubba. Oh. The flowers. Oh. 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 Oh.
place looks amazing. I love it. It's perfect. Sophia, whatever happens, we're here to protect you. Thank you. The no room for fear in your dream home policy from American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Every year, 300 to 400 physicians in the U.S. die from suicide, nearly one every day. Addiction does not discriminate. Medical providers are affected by mental illness and substance use disorders at the same rate as the general population. Approximately 20% will be affected throughout their lifetime. If you are a medical provider and you are concerned about your use of drugs or alcohol, or you are concerned about your mental health, please do not wait until this is affecting your professional life. Contact the NDPHP. We're here to help. My name is Chelsea and I have been working at SMP Health System for five and a half years. During the pandemic, I have seen staff form deeper bonds with residents to help them emotionally through this phase of being restricted with their visits. They spend more time with them. They give them the loving and care that they truly deserve. They really like the environment that is here at SMP Health System. We're very much like family here. Your forecast first with the KX Storm Team. And good morning, it is 6 a.m. Welcome to Good Day Dakota. We are dry this morning. The rain is lifted to the north, but the system to the north of us is going to be the culprit behind the wind that we'll feel later today. Right now, 49 in, uh, in Williston this morning, 56 in Minot, and 54 in the capital city. But plan your day around windy conditions. Many will have a good shot at some sun, 60s and 70s. But we got a big cool down coming with more rain. More on that is ahead on Good Day Dakota. It's gonna be a good day, so let's get it started. Live from KX News, this is Good Day Dakota. Good morning and welcome to Good Day Dakota. I'm Alicia Huck. And I'm Josh. Many thanks for waking up with us on this Monday morning. Today, the city will begin working on the water main replacement project along with street repairs around the city. That's right. Happening this morning, the project will cause road closures and detours that may affect your commute throughout the week in the capital city. Starting at 830 this morning, Washington Street and Bismarck from Interstate Avenue to Turnpike Avenue will reduce, uh, will be reduced rather by 10 feet to allow the southbound traffic to merge. The repairs on Washington Street will be complete by Wednesday evening. And at 9 o'clock this morning, Riverwood Drive between Pleasant Avenue and Westwood Avenue will be closed for about 10 days to install a water main along Riverwood Drive. And the businesses along Riverwood Drive will still be accessible. The construction will cause some significant detours if you're in that area. So we will have all of those detours listed for you on your website to see how they might affect your commutes. That's at kxnet.com. This is one of North Dakota's driest years on record, creating a host of issues for producers. We've gotten some rain over this past weekend. It's surely better than no rain, but to what extent will it make a difference? For this week's Ag and Energy Insight, we explore how North Dakota farmers and ranchers are living off of scattered storms. Burley County Extension agent Tyler Kralicek says North Dakota needs a deluge. Well, hopefully it's going to be wet and guys can't get in the field because it's too muddy. In other words, we need that much rain. If you look at uh, the data from the last, uh, you know, over 100, 100 years, it is definitely one of the worst, if not the worst. Um, you look at the annual re rainfall that we've had, um, you know, one of the figures was from last year, uh, we're deficient at least 10 inches of, of precip going into this year. So so, I mean, it is a definitely a huge concern in terms of where our drought outlook is. Um, you look across the state, and I mean, we're close to 90% that are considered drought. So, it is a, a very uh, dire situation. To meet insurance deadlines, farmers are getting their plants in the ground with enough time to grow. Washburn and farmer Joseph Sheldon grows spring wheat, corn, soybeans, and pinto beans. During all of this uh, this drought, we've we've kind of taken the attitude of, if ground conditions were adequate and moisture was adequate, would you be planting? And if the answer is yes, then we should be planting. Just like the rain has been spotty, crops are emerging inconsistently in fields. It's very uneven and spotty. A lot of the hilltops are bare. Um, a lot of the uh, below ground is growing. Um, where, where the water sat or we had some snow banks over winter. For cattle ranchers, having enough feed is the biggest issue. 
Yeah, the pastures are are way behind, and the hay crop is is way behind, and and we were coming off a short hay crop last year too, so. Uh, Compounding those problems aren't aren't helping the issues at all. Lang hasn't even taken cattle out to pasture this year. He's just been supplementing them with hay. The high demand is causing a major uptick in the cost of hay from $50 per bushel to up to $80 per bushel. The rain should help, but it won't be enough. We're going to end up dry lotting some cows, trying to buy some hay for them uh, to save on our pasture. We're going to end up calling probably some some good cows that that don't deserve to be called but uh you know that's the way it goes you gotta you gotta try to you know manage the manage the resource as best as you can too without uh, without overgrazing and, and overstressing your pastures between the extreme drought and the effects of covid on tractor parts availability and rising costs of inputs this year is shaping up to be one of the toughest years ever uh, visiting with some of the older farmers in the area, no one has seen anything like this. I think you'd have to go back to my great-grandfather in the dirty 30s to experience something like we're experiencing here today. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, I'm Josh Minnie. And Kralichek tells KX the one saving grace for North Dakota producers this year is rising commodity prices. I said, you know, trying to find that silver lining, but it still doesn't make it much easier. Yeah, That's no. just, it's just a rough year. It is, yeah. So we're, we're crossing our fingers for yeah, that. For sure. Still plenty of news and weather ahead on Good Day Dakota, including changes in the state's foster care system. Yeah, we'll tell you how the program is improving employment outcomes for those who would otherwise age out of the system. That's straight ahead. Watching Good Day Dakota with Josh Many, Alicia Huck, and weather with meteorologist Amber Wheeler. Good Day Dakota on KX News, putting North Dakota first. Have a nice day. I'm going to. Come on in. And you've dealt with that, right? At the McGee Law Firm, we provide a high level of performance, solving even the most difficult legal problems. For effective professional legal services, call the McGee Law Firm today. The right lawyers, right now. It's time to get your money back. Let DCI Credit Services recover outstanding balances and clean up your accounts receivable. DCICredit.com has easy online tools and the ability to check all accounts when it's convenient for you. We have a proven track record of collection performance and have set the industry standard in debt recovery. See testimonials on our website. Let us earn your business with a guarantee of three times your current performance. Put DCI Credit Services to work for you today. Eight years ago, my daughter called to say she was expecting our first grandchild, but I never heard her say it. So a few years ago, Gina bought me a nano hearing aid. And now I love hearing Ryan call me Papa. And at only $297 for a full pair, they make a great gift for someone you know. Plus, call now and order one hearing aid, and Nano will give you a second absolutely free. Call 1-800-273-7634. Introducing the Lowe's List. Here are some of the innovative products chosen by our experts for 2021. We chose this exclusive Whirlpool 2-in-1 washer. Also, Samsung Connected Appliances. We love the HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams Everlast. And a top pick, this exclusive new line of flex power tools. To see what else made the Lowe's list, visit Lowe's.com. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. This is one of the biggest furniture events of the year, the memorial sale at Slumberland. Everything is an additional 25% off our already low price. Well, hello Slumberland. Get your look for less at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland. We're in, we're out, we're back on the road, let's go. Okay. Here we go, pick them okay. up, put them down. Get on in there, there, get a snack, go to the snacks. bathroom. Everybody goes to the bathroom. Center, to make anything. sure the cat goes to the bathroom. Okay. We are not stopping okay. anywhere else. We used to go to the bathroom. Wait, okay. Who's that guy? When do we pick him up? All right. Get the day's top stories delivered to your inbox. Sign up for the KX Daily Newsletter today. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. 
Well, the time is 6.08 on this Monday morning. Welcome back. We've got some warm temperatures, 40s and 50s, and we've got the rain that's lifted out of here. So we're not having to contend with any rain this morning on the morning commute. Take a look at what you're waking up to and what you're walking out the door to this morning. Winds have increased slightly for some of us, but they're just going to ramp up today. So prepare yourself for kind of a windy day. We've got, again, showers lifting north, and they're mainly in Canada now, but 40s and 50s for morning temperatures. Temperatures. And you can see here the satellite and radar, the clouds are also lifting to the north as well. So we'll have some good sunshine for today. But it is going to be windy. Uh, southwest winds are increasing, especially under this wind advisory. If you're under that advisory, the shaded counties, that's going to be Watford City, Williston, uh, Lignite, and to Noonan, Crosby. You're talking 25 to 35 sustained wind speeds, gusts to around 50. Now the rest of us will be windy as well, just not that high. But tomorrow, the winds are really ramping up for most of us. I'll tell you more about this wind forecast in the coming days, and we'll talk about the rain chances and cooler temperatures that we have ahead this week as well. That's coming up. All right. Thanks, Amber. Coronavirus cases are at their lowest in nearly a year, largely due to the effectiveness of the vaccines. Health officials say a new concern about heart inflammation in kids who have received the shot, something they say is extremely rare and very treatable, should not discourage anyone from getting inoculated. Cakes News correspondent Laura Podesta has more. The seven-day average for new coronavirus cases in the U.S. is less than 30,000, about a tenth of what it was at the January peak. <laughs> These Massachusetts high schoolers can thank the vaccine for their senior prom. I believe it was 71% of our seniors as of Monday uh, have been vaccinated. In nine states, at least 70% of adults are partially vaccinated, but in 10 others, mostly in the South, less than half have gotten one dose. The CDC is investigating some rare cases of heart inflammation among vaccinated teens and young adults. These are complications that were not totally unexpected, but are very, very rare and manageable. The health agency has not found more cases than expected in the general population and still encourages everyone 12 and older to get vaccinated. Laura Podesta, CBS News. The CDC says the complications were more common in males than in females and showed up about four days after the second dose of the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. Now we continue our COVID-19 North Dakota watch with the health department reporting 26 new cases of the virus and that brings the number of active cases in the state to 562. Now that's the lowest it's been since the cases peaked mid-November of last year at 10,435. No new deaths were reported and a total of 1,507 people have died so far in the state as a result of COVID-19. Looking now at the rest of the numbers, 98 more people have recovered, 39 are in the hospital and and that's up five from the day before. More than 266,000 people, that's about 45%, are fully vaccinated. And here's a look at the new cases by county. Cass, Ward, and Morton counties each reported four new cases. Grand Forks reported three three new cases. Burley had two, and the other nine reporting, count, reporting counties had one each, and 39 counties reported no new cases. And for the latest information on the coronavirus, you can visit our website at kxnet.com. The Williams County Correctional Center is easing its way back to normalcy amid the pandemic. As of last Thursday, the jail began allowing full on-site, in-person visitations between inmates and loved ones. The sheriff says this form of communication was cut off more than a year ago, forcing people to have to pay to communicate via a video platform. He says although they are now accepting in-person visits, keeping people safe is still a priority. We're still doing quarantine periods for new inmates that are coming in for that 10 days just to make sure that we, we don't have a virus spread within the facility. Uh, so that's still going on, which makes operations a little bit challenging with having to quarantine new inmates as they come in. He says they've also started allowing different in-person programs to resume like counseling and chapel. 
Well, North Dakota is celebrating National Foster Care Month by helping those who have recently aged out of the system. That's thanks to federal aid, which the state's 18 plus continued care program now allows young adults to stay in the foster care system until they turn 22 years old. Previously, the program ended at 21 years of age and foster care administrator Dean Stern says that the extra year of support from the program helps to decrease the rates of homelessness and mental illness and to also increase employment. It was noticed that foster youth, young adults aging out of foster care, tended to have some more um, higher difficulties of um, getting out there into the, you know, the quote unquote real world. And in Minnesota, the program still ends um, on participants' 21st birthday. Well, that should uh, definitely help yeah, Absolutely. Some folks, yeah. yeah, it's good to see good, that. Good stuff. So to come this morning on Good Day Dakota, a group of local women are searching for hidden treasures here in North Dakota. We'll tell you about the organization they are a part of coming up at 625. And Amber will be back to tell us how this work week is shaping up. More rain, a lot more wind, maybe a little bit more. We'll have that straight ahead. online for a purple mattress we get it with the smart comfort grid made of super comfy yet ultra supportive hyper elastic polymer that makes for some serious pressure relieving comfort and support but which purple mattress is right for you come to Denver mattress and test for yourself and right now save up to $400 on purple mattress and accessory bundles and rest easy knowing it's backed by our 365 night better sleep guarantee shop Denver mattress today your purple mattress headquarters so it comes down to this. Never imagined you being a poker player. Just started. Even got my lucky shades on. Give me two. I'll take one. Shoot, maybe if I go all in, she'll fold. All in. Call. Let's see them, guys. Pair of queens. How'd you read my bluff? You should just stick to fixing cars. Nice glasses, by the way. Pandemic fatigue. We're all suffering from it and ready to move on. Ready to gather, celebrate, and share moments with others. Now, thanks to safe and effective vaccines, you can get back to doing the things you love with the people you love, your family and friends. Get your vaccine and get back to living. Let's get back together. The new KX News app is redesigned with you in mind. It's a new experience that begins on our homepage, featuring local news blocks, weather forecasts, easy push notification subscription, on-demand video, and streaming alerts. Download the KX News app today. Our weather can change in an instant. Are you prepared? You will be when you watch meteorologists Tom Schrader, Dave Holder, Amber Wheeler, and Mike Dandria. Western North Dakota's most experienced local weather team, the KX Storm Team, putting North Dakota's weather first. Your weather matters, and we've got you covered. Get a personal forecast you can count on. Just ask. Hey, Tom! Hey, Tom! Record a video with your name and where you're from, and I'll give you a personal forecast on KX News. It's that easy. Just send in your video via Facebook or email and say, Hey Tom, how's the weather? Hey Tom, how's the weather? Sponsored by Mayor Electric, Technologies and Appliance Repair. For local weather with the KX News Storm Team. And good morning, it is 617. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. We've got this nice southerly flow here. This is gonna be helping us out today and giving us some warm temperatures. Also, this low to the north of us that gave us the rain, well, that's lifted up and it's really gonna impact us in the way of wind today. We've seen our rain today. We saw it early this morning. It's really gonna give us some strong wind as the day does progress, especially around lunchtime and through the afternoon. Right now, 48 in Watford City, 57 in Rugby, 54 in Bismarck, and your winds are light for now. In some areas, they're a little on the breezy side, but uh, most of us are around 15 or so. But later today, they're really increasing. And that's, again, because of this low to the northwest of us. They're going to be the strongest in the northwest. But our sustained wind speeds will be around 15 to up to 30 miles per hour. Gusts will be way stronger than that, of course. And, and gusts could be of a, around 50 miles per hour in the northwest. 
This is going to be basically from noon to 9 p.m. is when the wind advisory will be in effect for the northwest here. That's going to include Willis and Watford City, all of Burt County and Divide County, uh, Montreal County, Stanley, Tioga. You're under this advisory as well. A little breezy off towards the James River Valley area. Now, we are going to see a, a bit of a, a break in the winds, only to see them surge back up as we head into Tuesday because that same low is going to drag across southern Canada and it's going to drape a cold front through our state. And it could bring a slight chance for some showers, but it's really going to bring some wind. Gusts of around 50 miles per hour for all of us. I anticipate probably another wind advisory for tomorrow. Temperatures today back into the 60s and 70s. It's a pretty warm day, uh, but we are cooling down this week. And again, it's because of this low. Uh, this is going to continue pushing uh, through southern Canada late tonight through Tuesday. So this could drape a few showers with that cold front through the state. I'm just not anticipating much in the way of accumulation. But the next system will move in late Wednesday into Thursday. This could bring some rain for especially the southern half of the state. Right now, the question is how far north is this going to go? Also, overnight lows this week as this you know, as we do cool with this colder air influence, this could give us, as it exits on Thursday morning, a bit of a rain snow mix. So we are really cooling down. In fact, you can see the difference tomorrow. 60s for highs, some 50s. And then as we get into Wednesday, highs will only be in the 50s. So here's the Dickinson three-day forecast. So rain is looking a little more likely on Wednesday with the 50s. In Williston, we're watching to see how far north that system will go on Will in, uh, Wednesday for Williston. But I've got you at about a 30% chance for some showers or for some rain on, on Wednesday. We're all cooling down nonetheless. But here's the Minot seven-day forecast. Cool on Wednesday and Thursday. And then we're going to have a little bit of a pattern shift heading into the weekend. That's going to bring us um, more warmer temperatures. But something else you should keep in mind this week is that we've got colder overnight lows. We are now officially in the growing season. So we're going to watch that intently. We could see some patchy frost, which means maybe some frost advisories this week. Here's the forecast. For Bismarck, rain is looking a little more likely for the Bismarck area by midweek. Colder temperatures for all of us, back to more seasonable 70s as we head into Memorial Day weekend. Well, we've procrastinated on planting our garden, so maybe there's a reason for it. Well, would you really call it procrastinating, though? <laughs> I mean, everybody's different. Right, Some right. folks wait until after Memorial Day, yeah, so really, true. you're still in a good yeah. place. Well, Aaron and Ayla, they did plant the seeds in the little containers, so yeah. we started. My job is just to keep my cat away from our indoor plants. Yes. That's the extent of That's my That's a year-round job. Keep health <laughs> yeah. safe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks Amber. Amber. Keep it with us here on Good Day Dakota. Still to come, a national organization for women who love the outdoors is empowering women in our state. Yeah, and we'll hear from the ambassador of the North Dakota chapter on how the group is working to preserve the outdoors. A story straight ahead. Dakota Agronomy Partners offers a wide range of seed treatment options to help farmers keep their fields free of disease and insects. Contact your local sales rep to discuss seed treatment options or our crop scouting program today. Dakota Agronomy Partners. Professional knowledge. Positive results. Hi, I'm Sharon from Sharon's Interiors Plus. Does your home project, whether new or upgrade, include window coverings, home decor, furniture, or flooring? With over 40 years of experience, from start to finish, I can assist and guide you all the way. Whether you have work to do or just want to have a little fun, count on Durastart and Home of Economy for the power to get up and go. We feature powerful, long-lasting Durastart batteries, always at the guaranteed lowest price. Chevy is America's fastest growing full-line brand, and people are taking it everywhere. Taking Trailblazer outdoors, confidently taking on new places with Equinox, and taking on more with Silverado. Whatever you do, there's a perfect Chevy to take you anywhere. Find your perfect Chevy and get up to 18% of MSRP cash back on select 2021 Chevy SUV models or get a $4,000 cash allowance on all 2021 Silverado 1500 True Cab pickups. Post your employment opportunities now on KXNet Jobs. All the job boards that matter for one low price. Northwest Tire is hiring in multiple locations. Current openings include outside sales, accounting, and tech positions. Check out this job and more at kxnetjobs.com. My psoriatic arthritis pain? I had enough. It's not getting in my way. Joint pain, swelling, tenderness. Much better. My psoriasis. Clearer. Cosentix works on all of this. Four years and counting. So watch out. I got this. 
Watch me. Real people with active psoriatic arthritis look and feel better with Cosentix. Cosentix works fast for results that can last. It treats the multiple symptoms of psoriatic arthritis, like joint pain and tenderness, back pain, and helps stop further joint damage. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections and lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms. If your inflammatory bowel disease symptoms develop or worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to, serious allergic reactions may occur. I just look and feel better. I got real relief with Cosentix. Watch me. Feel real relief. Ask your rheumatologist about Cosentix. The Bismarck Marathon is back. Whether it's the Shields 5K, the Sanford 10K, or the Jerome's Pub Crawl, we have a race for everyone, even your dog. Check out our races at thebismarckmarathon.com. We'll see you in September. The best way to wake up in the morning is with Good Day Dakota. Well, it's 623. Welcome back. Hiker Babes is a national organization for women who love to participate in outdoor activities. That's right. And new this morning, we met up with the ambassador of the North Dakota chapter who says they welcome those from all walks of life and their goal is to preserve the outdoors so other can, others can enjoy it. Yeah, and Sarah Jessen, she is an ambassador for the North Dakota chapter of Hiker Babes. And she moved to Stanley, North Dakota from Montana and has always loved the outdoors, hiking and camping. So when she found the Hiker Babes North Dakota Facebook group, she knew she had found her people. I initially said the reason I want to join the Hiker Babes is because there's nothing to hike around here and I need to go find it because there's got to be some adventure somewhere here in North Dakota. And the group has challenges like the 12 hikes in 12 months. They also have group hikes to find hidden treasures in our state like ice caves south of Watford City or the only registered waterfall in North Dakota. And it was surprising and beautiful and bigger than I thought it was going to be and really noisy. And it was like a legit waterfall. I was pretty excited. Justin says Hiker Babes is all about empowering women of all shapes and sizes to get out there and get moving. Most of their hikes are day hikes and sometimes they even do co-ed gatherings. Yeah, that's right. And for more information on the Hiker Babes group, you can click on the story at kxnet.com. Looks like a great way to just yeah. kind of get out, explore our state and see what is out there. There's been a lot to talk about this waterfall in North Dakota lately. Right. So I think I got to get well, out there and check it out. Maybe Amber or Alicia yeah. do go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, no. uh, yeah, get that yeah, reference. We got 90s. Little well, 90s. <laughs> Little, uh, no, what is that? There. Salt and pepper? TLC. Yep. TLC. TLC. Right. Mm -hmm. TLC. Right. Now right. that's going to be in my Wrong head all right day time long. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I was a big TLC <laughs> fan. Cool. Uh, let's take a look at the forecast. This is my dog walking forecast. Love this one. We've, we've got uh, Jake. No, Jack. Excuse me. Jack's got a sweet smile here and excited for the day. Christy, thank you so much for this picture. We're excited to see the sun today for all of our four-legged friends who have had to run through water puddles, which they probably loved, and many of us did not who had to clean their paws before they came in the house. 60s and 70s for today. We are a little warmer, and right now the winds are light, but keep in mind the winds are really increasing. Now, they're increasing for all of us out of the southwest, but they're going to be the strongest in the northwest. So if you're in one of these shaded counties, you're under, under a wind advisory today from noon until 9 p.m. Sustain wind speeds out of the southwest will be around 25 to 35 in the northwest and gusting to around 50. It's going to be a pretty windy day today, but the winds don't stop there. I'll tell you more about the windy forecast that we have ahead, the cooler temperatures and the rain that we still have to come this week. My forecast first is next. Alrighty, thank you, Amber. And when we return this morning on Good Day Dakota, a retired couple transformed their cottage into an Airbnb success. Yeah, we'll hear from the Bismarck couple giving guests a North Dakota farm experience. Now's your chance to get an amazing deal on the Honda Civic. It's fun, sporty, and a smart choice too with excellent fuel economy ratings and a stylish, roomy interior. With standard Honda Sensing, a suite of safety and driver-assisted features, no wonder the Civic is the best-selling compact car over the last decade. But hurry in to your Honda dealer, because this unbelievable deal on the Civic won't last. Are you managing your diabetes using finger sticks? With the new Freestyle Libre 2 system, a continuous glucose monitor, you can check your glucose with a painless one-second scan. And now, with optional alarms, 
You can choose to be notified if you go too high or too low. And for those who qualify, the Freestyle Libre 2 system is now covered by Medicare. Ask your doctor for a prescription. You can do it without finger sticks. Learn more at freestylelibre2.us. Incredible savings on Sealy mattresses during our big memorial sale now at Slumberland. Plus, come try any of our eight memory foam queen mattresses, all for under $9.99. And get free shipping. The huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. The new KX News app is redesigned with you in mind. It's a new experience that begins on our homepage, featuring local news blocks, weather forecasts, easy push notification subscription, on-demand video, and streaming alerts. Download the KX News app today. Eight years ago, my daughter called to say she was expecting our first grandchild, but I never heard her say it. So a few years ago, Gina bought me a nano hearing aid. And now I love hearing Ryan call me Papa. And at only $297 for a full pair, they make a great gift for someone you know. Plus, call now and order one hearing aid, and Nano will give you a second absolutely free. Call 1-800-273-7634. Your forecast first with the KX Storm Team. And good morning, it is 629. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. We are dry this morning. If you're wondering about rain, well, we really don't have any for today. We've got wind to talk about. Temperatures this morning, 48 in Watford City, 57 in Rugby, Lake Chida in at 47. But plan your day around warmer temperatures, 60s, 70s, sunshine, and also very strong wind. Find out if you're under a wind advisory today. How long the winds could last and more rain chances are in the works. This is Good Day Dakota. The news continues right now. Good Day Dakota continues on KX News. Well, 629, welcome back. The latest addition to Apple Creek Farm in southeast Bismarck is getting a lot of attention. That's right, Andy Ani has more. There's a little cottage just off old Highway 10. That's getting a lot of buzz. It looked like it was straight out of a, a movie. Owning the 40-acre farm has been a lifelong dream of Renee Zundels. After moving 26 times, she tells me she's happy to finally plant some roots in Bismarck. All our relatives were here, so we decided this was the place we, we would retire. It wasn't our intention. That was um, definitely uh, wasn't on our radar, but um, it's been an excellent move. Her family has been working hard to renovate the farm and have even started running this Airbnb. And the farm has a lot of history. It was once a granary and horse training facility. Zundel says the cottage is where the hired hands used to stay. And it needed a lot of love. We gutted it and started from scratch. We could see the auger marks on the floor um, from when it was a granary. And we did most of the work ourselves with the help of a friend. And so it was um, a lot of Pinterest pictures and um, just making it our own. I spoke to one woman whose family stayed in the cottage for three weeks while waiting to move in to their new home. It was a nice change of pace and it made me reconsider whether I should have purchased a house in the country or back in the city because this was really fun. She also tells me the experience has brought her family closer together. We'd wake up and we would make something fun for breakfast like waffles or pancakes and we would um, leave the cottage and we'd go straight to the barn and then we would stop at the alpacas and we'd play with them. Zundel says Apple Creek has not only been a passion project, but she also feels like it's filling a need in the community by giving their guests a taste of authentic North Dakota farm life. For KX News, I'm Andy Ani. She says even though they're getting a lot of requests to host birthday parties and weddings, they are not open for public events. And But uh, anyone who wants to stay at the cottage can book a reservation through Airbnb. That's exactly what I said. I said, what if they do yeah. weddings? Not that, you know, I mean, I'm having a wedding. It was a very I mean, idyllic, uh, you know, barn where you see either like a wedding or it reminded me of like a country music yeah. video where they're doing a dance in the, the barn. Yeah, I don't know. be an Airbnb beautiful. unlike any other. Yeah. Yeah, it is beautiful. Keep it with us here on Good Day Dakota. Still to come, the drought continues. And we'll hear from local farmers on how they are navigating this lack of moisture that's coming up next. Western North Dakota's most experienced weather team, the KX Storm Team, putting North Dakota's weather first. 
Your weather matters, and we've got you covered. Get local weather coverage you can count on every morning. Just say, Hey, Amber. Hey, Amber. Hey, Amber. Plan my day. Record a video with your name and where you're from, and I'll give you your personal forecast on Good Day Dakota. It's that simple. Just send your video via Facebook or email and say, Hey, Amber. Hey, Amber. Amber, plan my day. Hey, Amber, plan my day. Sponsored by Sundry Sand and Gravel. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. You needed a hero, so you became one. Sometimes getting back to normal might just mean starting fresh. Walker. Thursdays at 7 on the Dakota CW. People today, they could spend half their lives over 50. That's a lot of living. So make sure the good things in life live as long as you do. This is just slow-mo karate? Just slow-mo karate. The younger you are, the more you need AARP. Join today. Cabinet handled. Air conditioned. Lawn mode. Get started on your next home project at Angie.com or download the Angie mobile app today. Make your home an Angie home. Angie and done. Start your summer off right at I Keating Furniture World's Memorial Day Sale with incredible savings plus no interest for five years on a huge selection of furniture for every room and flooring that brings it all together. Wake up to a whole new you and save up to $400 on select Sealy Hybrid Adjustable Mattress Sets. Save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic Adjustable Sets. Plus, take it all home with no interest for five years. The savings have never been better than right now. Don't miss the Memorial Day Sale at I Keating Furniture World. Ready, set, summer. Get ready for summer with fresh starts, quick auditions, and savings during the Home Depot's Memorial Day Savings Event. Save on appliances like this Samsung Laundry Pair. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. Now more Good Day Dakota on KX News. It's 634, welcome back. This is one of North Dakota's driest years on record, creating a host of issues for producers. And we've gotten some rain over this past weekend. It's surely better than no rain at all. But to what extent will it make a difference? For this week's Ag and Energy Insight, we explore how North Dakota farmers and ranchers are living off scattered storms. Burley County Extension agent Tyler Kralicek says North Dakota needs a deluge. Well, hopefully it's going to be wet and guys can't get in the field because it's too muddy. In other words, we need that much rain. If you look at uh, the data from the last, uh, you know, over 100, 100 years, it is definitely one of the worst, if not the worst. Um, you look at the annual re rainfall that we've had, um, you know, one of the figures was from last year, uh, we're deficient at least 10 inches of, of precip going into this year. So, I mean, it is a definitely a huge concern in terms of where our drought outlook is. Um, you look across the state, and I mean, we're close to 90% that are considered drought. So uh, it is a, a very uh, dire situation. To meet insurance deadlines, farmers are getting their plants in the ground with enough time to grow. Washburn farmer Joseph Sheldon grows spring wheat, corn, soybeans, and pinto beans. During all of this, uh, this drought, we've, we've kind of taken the attitude of if ground conditions were adequate and moisture was adequate, would you be planting? And if the answer is yes, then we should be planting. Just like the rain has been spotty, crops are emerging inconsistently in fields. It's very uneven and spotty. A lot of the hilltops are bare. Um, a lot of the, uh, the low ground is growing. Um, where, where the water sat or we had some snow banks over winter. For cattle ranchers, having enough feed is the biggest issue. Yeah, the pastures are, are way behind and the hay crop is, is way behind. And, and we were coming off a short hay crop last year too, so uh, compounding those problems aren't, aren't helping the issues at all. Lang hasn't even taken cattle out to pasture this year. He's just been supplementing them with hay. The high demand is causing a major uptick in the cost of hay from $50 per bushel to up to $80 per bushel. The rain should help, but it won't be enough. We're going to end up dry lining some cows, trying to buy some hay for them uh, to save on our pasture. We're going to end up calling probably some some good cows that, that don't deserve to be called, but, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. You got to... You got to try to, you know, manage the, manage the resource as best as you can, too, without, uh, without overgrazing and, and overstressing your pastures. Between the extreme drought and the effects of COVID on tractor parts availability and rising cost of inputs, this year is shaping up to be one of the toughest years ever. 
uh, visiting with some of the older farmers in the area, no one has seen anything like this. I think you'd have to go back to my great grandfather in the dirty thirties to experience something like we're experiencing here today. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, I'm Josh Minney. And Kralichik tells KX News the one saving grace for North Dakota producers this year is the rising commodity prices. Gosh, again, I keep saying, you know, looking at that silver lining because yeah. we certainly, you know, we've got some rain, but again, not enough. Yeah. Amber. As, as we all know, farmers are tough, tough people. Uh, you know. Yes, your, exactly. Your parents. Grew up on a farm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a rough going. It can be a rough going. It can also be a good yeah <laughs> you have your good years but well, they you know they make it through they they mm -hmm. um they prevail during these tough times so they're used to this kind of stuff but this year's a little bit you know tougher than yeah. usual so yeah so amber you said that there may be some rain some more rain coming through uh you said it may be heading up a little bit more further north but i guess we'll just wait and see yeah you know rain chances they're there mm -hmm. they're just not there today today we get a break from the rain uh, folks, some folks saw a good soaking over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Others saw maybe a trace, but we've got more chances this week. Uh, temperatures today back into the 60s and 70s. Take a look at our KX cam in Dickinson. This is the sky that many of us will see today. We're 46 in Dickinson this morning, and your winds are right now out of the southwest at about 14. These winds are ramping up today, and here are your next seven days for Dickinson. We are cooling down into Wednesday and Thursday, and that comes with rain chances. Now, I could tell you that these are daytime highs. Overnight lows could be in that frost territory as we head into, uh, say, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and quite possibly into Thursday night. So the middle of the week, something we're watching. Wet conditions this morning in Williston. We saw some rain early, early this morning, 49 right now. Those south winds at 16. But I can tell you, this area is under a wind advisory today beginning at noon. We're cooling down by the middle of the week, and you can see there lots of 50s and more rain chances. Coming up, I'll tell you more about that wind advisory that many are seeing today. And also, we'll talk more about those rain chances. That's coming up. Very good. Thank you, Amber. And there's still plenty of news and weather ahead on Good Day Dakota, including how a community came together to help celebrate one little girl's birthday when things didn't go quite as planned. And stick around to plan your day with Amber. Look at uh, what jacket you should be wearing this morning. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Coming up today on Studio 701, we get to hear some great live music from Chloe Marie. Her song is called Boy in the Bakken. Mm. <laughs> You've got to hear it. And Jenna shows us a workout that even a couch potato can do. Join us for healthy living and much more, all happening on Studio 701. Check out tonight's great lineup starting at 7, followed by KX News at 10. Tonight's lineup is brought to you by Ford. Visit your local Northland Ford dealer or visit buyfordnow.com. Summer is here, and with a great deal on a new Toyota, you can go out and do all the things that make summer, well, summer, like go biking, glamping, pony rides, Mother's Day, scavenger hunts, found it, off-roading, Right now, lease a new 2021 Highlander for $259 a month, including $750 lease subvention cash, or get $750 customer cash on a new 2021 Highlander. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. 701, they have some fun. Like it Whether it's home, work, or play, life in the 701 is really all about how you live it. Watch Studio 701, weekday mornings at 9. If you missed KX Conversation at 6, you missed the discussion on issues that affect us all. You missed the conversation that leads to solutions. Be part of the conversation. KX Conversation, weeknights at 6 on KX News. I was born in Hawaii, but I'm not really Hawaiian because we moved to Maryland when I was a baby. That's where we got Toby, and then Mark was born in California. So for me, home is wherever we go. Lowe's is honored to save military families 10% every day. Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. Well, it's 6.42. Welcome back. A Williston girl's 10th birthday will be one to remember after receiving what may have been the surprise of a lifetime. That's right. Malik Wilson has the story.
What were your emotions, you know, that first day when she came out? You know, what were all of your emotions? What were you thinking? <laughs> a first time parent, you know, I think probably a little bit of everything. Nervous, excited, scared. On May 23rd, 2011, Sarah Wheeler gave birth to her one and only, Amanda. She was healthy. She was still four weeks early, but she was healthy. All kinds of emotions. She's amazing blessing a blessing she says she'd do anything for we would go the ends of the earth for her that means keeping up with the traditions of birthdays and planning a party for her 10th birthday this year was no different we decided well, we're going to do the bowling alley thing that's what she wanted to do so we got a big cake uh, party favors and they rallied the troops we uh, ended up inviting most of her classmates and a few yeah, and a few neighborhood friends. I think we got close to 18 cards. But on May 16th, the day of Amanda's party, only one person showed. So we got up in there, got set up, got going, got bowling. Within 20 minutes, we still only had the one child. Devastated is the word Sarah says described hers and Amanda's emotions. So... I just out of frustration posted it on social media. Her post on Facebook explained the situation and simply asked if anyone would be willing to come celebrate with Amanda. The response she received left her speechless. We were inundated. Nearly 50 people from in and around the Williston community came to share the day with Amanda. Yay! Making her feel special. It was just a great incline on my mental health because that, that was just amazing the community coming together it was just the most awesome and wonderful thing it's a memory neither of them will ever forget you felt loved huh yes i did i don't think we can top this birthday ever yeah i mean how do you, <laughs> you know? in williston reporting for kx news malik wilson Sarah says the whole family is extremely grateful and want to give a huge thank you again to everyone who was in attendance. That's, That's amazing what yeah. they did to come together for her and happy birthday to her. Yeah, absolutely. Happy birthday. Well, Amber, how's this week shaping up for uh, other events of people maybe getting together outside? Well, there are a few days this week you <laughs> might need your umbrella, and that mm -hmm. may not be a bad thing That's for a, a lot one. of yeah. folks out yeah. there who still want it. Now, uh, today we don't have any rain chances. In mm -hmm. fact, the rain is lifted to the north and a lot of us have a beautiful sky but I do have some rain reports here for you this is uh, over the last couple of days noon and seeing an inch in over eight tenths uh, so a nice soaking in Noonan between yesterday and this morning. Dickinson at just under an inch and a half. Williston just over three quarters of an inch and around a quarter of an inch in both Minot and Bismarck. So here is our satellite and radar. We've got this trough to the northwest of us uh, and uh, high pressure to the southeast of us. Now that low pressure to the northwest of us, that's actually going to impact us in the coming days here, but not in the way necessarily of moisture as it is going to give us a chance for some very strong winds. Right now we've got 40s and 50s. We we are at 46 in Beach, Harvey, you're at 57, Bismarck mid 50s, as well as into Minot. Winds are light for now, but these are increasing. We've got a wind advisory for Northwest North Dakota. So right now we're around 10 to 15 miles per hour, but these are really gonna ramp up. Here are your winds, uh, wind sustained wind speed forecast. That is uh, the strongest in the Northwest. This is what they could look like by 3 p.m. But I can tell you that some of these sustained wind speeds of the Northwest could top out at over 30 30 miles per hour. That's sustained wind speeds. Then you add the wind gusts. Some of our wind gusts in northwest North Dakota could be around 50 miles per hour. We'll get a brief break tonight before they start to swell again through the day tomorrow. I anticipate another wind advisory for much of the state tomorrow. Wind gusts over 50 at times. It's just going to be a windy day tomorrow again. But highs today are back in the 60s and 70s. Coming up, we've got a cool down. We've got rain chances. I'll break the forecast down for you coming up uh, in just a few minutes. That's straight ahead. Okay. Thank you, Amber. And now let's take a look at our National Day calendar. Today we celebrate your best friend and your worst enemy, which may be found in the same person. Welcome to May 24th on the National Day calendar. A guy who teases you one minute and then acts like your best friend is what you might call a jerk. Unless they're related to you, in which case they're called brothers. Today we celebrate the guys who made a career out of tormenting you. Maybe they tore up your comic book collections, cut off your pigtails, or put live critters in your bed. They also picked you up after you crashed your bike and taught you how to throw a baseball. If you think about it long enough, 
you would probably count yourself lucky to have these guys in your corner. On Brother's Day, celebrate the things you're grateful for and have a good laugh about all the rest. I'm Marlo Anderson with the National Day Calendar. See you again tomorrow as we celebrate every day. And for a list of all the national days you can celebrate, head on over to our website at kxnet.com. All right. Well, when we return on Good Day Dakota, we will take you all the way up to 7 o'clock. We've got everything you need to know as you head out the door to start your Monday morning. Stay with us. Notch Auto Body Care and Repair, serving Western North Dakota. Our reputation is no accident. Visit CollisionSolutionsND.com. You hold them in your care. Let them hold you in theirs. Buckle up, Dad. Seatbelts save lives. Buckle up so you're always there for them. Maintaining your lawn and outdoor living space is easy and fun with Menards. Keep your home a cut above the rest with the best selection of lawn care equipment and accessories at Menards. All Troy built outdoor power equipment is 11% off. Grime doesn't stand a chance against the Generac Speed Wash Pressure Washer's best in class cleaning power. All Generac outdoor power equipment is 11% off. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. If you missed KX Conversation at 6, you missed the discussion on issues that affect us all. Dr. Fon, what does this new information tell us about the spread of the coronavirus? You missed the conversation that leads to solutions. If not gun regulation, what should be done by Congress to stop these mass murders from happening? Be part of the conversation. You tell us that scammers are telling a fairly convincing story over the phone these days, so can you walk us through it? KX Conversation, weeknights at 6 on KX News is an expression of patriotism and commitment to our country. KX News is proud to present the Daily Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and the invisible with liberty and justice for all. The Daily Pledge of Allegiance, honoring those who honor our nation's flag. Sponsored by Eastgate and Parkway Funeral Service. Now, your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. It is 6.50. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. We are all enjoying some sunshine. That is uh, much appreciated after having a pretty cloudy and for some folks kind of a rainy weekend. So a beautiful sunny start to the week. Uh, we are going to increase our rain chances here in the coming days, just not today. So we've got some mostly sunny conditions. We might pull in a few clouds with this low to the northwest of us through the afternoon, but it's really ramping our winds up, especially in northwest North Dakota. Now as we head into Tuesday, it's going to drape a cold front across the state. This could generate a few showers. I don't anticipate a ton of moisture coming from this uh, front as it moves through, but it is going to make for a windy day on Tuesday. Gusts could be around 50 again, this time for the entire state. So a windy Tuesday, and then it's Wednesday night, especially into Thursday. We'll watch another system roll through. This one coming from the southwest. Uh, we're in a good place here to get some moisture. When you're on the north side of these lows, that's the best shot at getting some soaking rain. Here's what we're going to be watching is the placement. Right now, it looks like it wants to stay in the southern half of the state. It certainly could move to the north here and encompass Minot. I think we could see a little bit of rain. Something else we could see is a chance for some rain and snow as some cold air gets mixed in on Thursday morning as it does exit. It's still a few days out. We still have a lot to watch here on that one, but on Tuesday, lots of 60s for highs, and we are cooling into Wednesday. So we're cooling with the rain chances here. 50s for highs uh, in Dickinson on Wednesday. Notice the seasonal average is 69, so we are looking at a below average forecast here. Here's your Williston forecast back to those mid 50s by the middle of the week, and we stay cool on Thursday. 50s in Minot on Thursday. We will rebound for the weekend back to the 70s. Here's your Bismarck seven-day forecast. Also looking at uh, temperatures rebounding for the weekend. So we cool out. We bottom out there Wednesday and Thursday. And again, rain chances. That's our next best chance for more widespread chances Wednesday into Thursday. All right. Thanks, Amber.
Today, the city will begin working on the water main replacement project along with street repairs around the city. Happening this morning, the project will cause road closures and detours that might affect your commute throughout the week. Starting at 8.30, Washington Street from Interstate Avenue to Turnpike Avenue will be reduced by 10 feet to allow the southbound traffic to merge. The repairs on Washington Street will be completed by Wednesday evening. And at 9 o'clock this morning, Riverwood Drive between Pleasant Avenue and Westwood Avenue will be closed for about 10 days to install a water main alongside Riverwood Drive. The businesses along Riverwood Drive will still be accessible, though. The construction will cause significant detours. We'll have <coughs> all of those detours listed on our website, kxnet.com. Now we continue our COVID-19 North Dakota Watch with the Health Department reporting 26 new cases of the virus and that brings the number of active cases in the state to 562. That is the lowest it's been since the cases peaked mid-November last year at 10,435. No new deaths were reported and a total of 1,507 people have died so far in the state as a result of COVID-19. Now for a look at the rest of the numbers with 98 more people having recovered, 39 are in the hospital and that's up five. More than 266,000 people, that's about 45%, are now fully vaccinated. Here's a look at the new cases by county. Cass, Ward and Morton counties reported four new cases each. Grand Forks County reported three and Burley two. The other nine remaining uh, reporting counties each had one and 39 counties reported no new cases. And for the latest information on the coronavirus, you can visit our website at kxnet.com. The Williams County Correctional Center is easing its way back to normalcy amid the pandemic. As of last Thursday, the jail began allowing full on-site in-person visitations between inmates and loved ones. The sheriff says this form of communication was cut off more than a year ago, forcing people to have to pay to communicate via video platform. He says although they are now accepting in-person visits, keeping people safe is still a priority. We're still doing quarantine periods for new inmates that are coming in for that 10 days just to make sure that we, we don't have a virus spread within the facility. Uh, so that's still going on, which makes operations a little bit challenging with having to quarantine new inmates as they come in. He says they've also started allowing different in-person programs to resume like counseling and chapel. Well, North Dakota is celebrating National Foster Care Month by helping those who have already, uh, who have recently rather aged out of the system. And that's thanks to federal aid. The state's 18 plus continued care program now allows young adults to stay in the foster care system until they turn 22. Previously, the program ended at the age of 21. Foster care administrator Dean Stern says that the extra year of support from the program helps to decrease rates of homelessness and mental illness and increase employment. In Minnesota, so the program still ends on a participant's 21st birthday. Now let's take a look at today's top stories. Well, National Guard troops were that were deployed to Washington, D.C. following the January 6th storming of the U.S. Capitol are set to leave today. A person familiar with the plan told the Associated Press that the nearly 2,200 troops mission ended on Sunday. And Phil Mickelson made history at the PGA Championship Sunday, becoming the oldest major champion in history. It was the 50-year-old lefty's sixth career major victory, making him the first PGA Tour player to win tournaments 30 years apart. Mickelson called the victory, quote, slightly unnerving, but exceptionally welcome, or awesome, rather, end quote. And coming up after Good Day Dakota, CBS This Morning will bring you more on those big stories of the day. All right, switching gears here. Hiker Babes is a national organization for women who love participating in outdoor activities. Yeah, new this morning, we spoke with the ambassador of the North Dakota chapter, who says that they welcome those from all walks of life and their goal goal is to preserve the outdoors so that others can enjoy it. Sarah Jessen is an ambassador for the North Dakota chapter of Hiker Babes. She moved to Stanley, North Dakota from Montana and has always loved the outdoors, hiking and camping. So when she found the Hiker Babes North Dakota Facebook group, she knew she had found her people. I initially said the reason I want to join the Hiker Babes is because there's nothing to hike around here and I need to go find it because there's got to be some adventure somewhere here in North Dakota. And the group has challenges like the 12 hikes in 12 months, and they also have group hikes to find hidden treasures in our state, such as ice caves south of Watford City or the only registered waterfall in North Dakota. 
And it was surprising and beautiful and bigger than I thought it was going to be and really noisy. And it was like a legit waterfall. I was pretty excited. And Justin says that Hiker Babes is all about empowering women of all shapes and sizes to get out there and get moving. And most of their hikes are day hikes. And sometimes they even do some co-ed gatherings. Yeah, for more information on the Hiker Babes group, click this story at kxnet.com. Well, the latest addition to Apple Creek Farm in Southeast Bismarck is getting a lot of attention. Yeah, the Apple Creek Cottage sits on the 40-acre farm and is listed on Airbnb. Guests get to experience authentic North Dakota farm life with free roam chickens, alpacas, and sometimes away, and some time rather, away from the city. One woman says staying on the farm was a bonding experience. It did bring our family closer together because we, we didn't have other distractions. This is definitely a unique experience. Um, I have not been invited to other farms around, around Bismarck to hang out with the animals, and so this was really special. And the farm is not open for public events, but anyone who does want to stay at the cottage can book a reservation through Airbnb. All right. Well, switching gears here and looking at our weather, Amber, how are our uh, daytime temps going to be? No, they're going to be pretty good. And, you know, you, you had me at alpacas. Right? <laughs> and, and the video there of a cat and a free roam yeah. chicken. <laughs> I want to go out there and hang out for the day. I know. It looks like yeah, a blast. Might have to look into renting that one. Uh, let's take a look at the forecast today. We've got a wind advisory. This is for the northwest. Now, if you're under this advisory, this begins at noon it lasts until 9. Sustained wind speeds out of the southwest around 25 and 35 gusting to 50. And even if you're not under that, you are still going to be pretty windy today. Highs will be in the 60s and mainly the 70s, but the 60s in the northwest. We've got over the next few days here a cooling trend. This is your Minot uh, three-day forecast. As you can see, there are 60s tomorrow to 50s and a slight chance for some showers on Wednesday. Rain looking a little more likely for the Bismarck area on Wednesday, but we are all cooling down to the 50s. In fact, we're cooling down before we start seeing more normal temperatures for the Memorial Day weekend. And of course, you'll want to stay tuned to KX News and KXNet.com. We'll have the latest on the rain forecast throughout the day today. All right. Good stuff. That's right. Thank you, Amber. And thank you for joining us on Good Day Dakota. Stay tuned for CBS This Morning. That's coming up next.